Hi, I'm Dr. Nataraj Hitcham. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a shoulder specialist. Today in this video, I'm going to talk on rotator cuff tears. Rotator cuff are a group of muscles present inside the shoulder joint. They help in movement of the shoulder and also stabilizes the shoulder joint. This rotator cuff muscle can be torn due to various reasons. In young, because of repetitive stress, like playing badminton, playing tennis, and also in professions like carpenters and painters, because of repetitive stress, the muscles can get torn. It can also be torn in young because of development of extra bone spurs inside the shoulder joint. These bone spurs can literally rub the rotator cuff muscles and tear it off. Along with that, of course, any injury can also cause rotator cuff tears. In elderly, the rotator cuff tear is mainly because of the age-related wear and tear plus reduced blood supply to the rotator cuff muscles. So once the rotator cuff muscles are torn, shoulder become weak and painful. Patient is unable to perform a simple day-to-day -day activities like combing, taking the hand backwards, dressing and undressing, and also to perform over-the-head activities. In, in some severe cases, even sleeping on one side, especially in the side of the painful shoulder, becomes difficult and the patient commonly complain of disturbed sleep. Yes, there is a treatment for this. In a small tear, in a small or sometimes in a partial tear, it can be treated with simple exercises, some physiotherapic modality therapy to reduce the pain and some oral medicines. And of course, some activity modification like avoiding the heavy weight so that it's a, the cuff won't tear further. In a bigger tears or maybe patient reaching out doctor in a late stage with a bigger tear, this cannot be managed conservatively, but patients require a small surgery. Nowadays, the rotator cuff surgeries are done with a, with a keyhole or an arthroscopy, where a tiny one or two tiny cuts are made on the shoulder, which are the size of a buttonhole. Torn rotator cuff muscle is repaired. Post repair, patient is advised rest for a couple of weeks, and then the shoulder movements are started. And once, when after around six to eight weeks, patients regain all the strength and pain disappear and he can be back to his normal routines. So this is all about the rotator cuff tears and treatment of rotator cuff tears. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Knee and Shoulder. Thank you.